Hello guys, in this session we will see how to seed the database with the SM data. We will dump some dummy data into the our database. Let's switch to the Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new class named the ADB Initializer within the uh, data folder DB Initializer. Within that, create a new and create a new public static void initialize method. Here the name of the class and the method are chosen by me. You can choose the any other name. It is not compulsory to use that. This method will perform the operation if the database is created. So we need to write the uh, this method will receive the uh, context in the uh, parameter. So write the uh, library context context. This method will perform operation only if the uh, database is created. So we need to write the uh, context dot database dot created. We need to insert the data into the table if the table is empty. If table already have the data, then we does not need to add the data. So I'm going to write the if context dot author dot any and use the not operator. We need to check that the author table does not contain the any data. Then we are going to create the list. I am already created the list of the author. We need to import the namespace and we need to add those list to the our author for that write the add range method and pass the list of the authors and also we need to save the changes. Like the author, we also need to perform the operation for the uh, book. So we need to check that uh, if context dot book any then paste the list of the book and uh, create the uh, context dot book dot add range and uh, pass the uh, array that is a books and call the uh, save changes method we need to call to this method automatically when the our application start therefore i am going to call this method from the configure method of the uh, startup so open the uh, startup.cs file and comment this uh, migration line write the uh, db Initializer dot initialize and pass the context that we got in the parameter and semicolon it. Save all file and now let's see the uh, which data contained in the our database. Fire the select query. You can see that the our database does not contain the uh, any data in the uh, boot table. Run the uh, project. Let's switch to the uh, studio and fire the uh, select query again. You can see that it includes the uh, three author data and the uh, three book details that we are uh, created in the uh, list. Let's see what we are learning in this session. We need to call the uh, db initializer from the uh, startup.cs file and pass the uh, context for performing the operation on it. In the ODB initializer, we have created the uh, one static method named the initialize, which take the uh, context as a parameter. After this, we will perform the operation if the uh, table are created, and also we have checked that the uh, table are empty. Then we are created the uh, list and add the uh, list of the entity into the uh, our context, and the uh, save those changes. This technique is known as the uh, setting the uh, database. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.